is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn to create a calendar dimension table with Power Query and DAX. And we will compare that, which is the easiest way to create a calendar dimension table. Uh, you definitely have a choice. Either you can go with the Power Query method or if you are comfortable with DAX, so you can create in DAX. So let's get started. As a Power BI user, you know that when you have a data model and you create a star schema, so to control the data granularity, uh, you have a table that is a one dimension table related to the calendar, uh, where you can align that dimension table to a fact table so that you can use time intelligence DAX easily. And uh, instead of uh, creating all the uh, calendar table within the fact table you control the data granularity with that so there are two methods primarily I will discuss in this video one with uh, how to create with the power query and uh, what are those steps and then uh, with the DAX so let's get start first I will show you with the power query so for doing that I will go to the home tab and I will click on transform data so it will open a power query editor window here right and this is entirely blank so the first step is to uh, click on this uh, manage parameters drop down menu here you will find a feature that is called new parameter so I will click on new parameter so it will open up a manage parameters window first give a name so let's give a start date and uh, so in the uh, type we will select the date and then in the value so we need to start our calendar first date from 1st of January 2021 and I will press OK so a parameter of the start date has been created uh, again we will go to the same option new parameter and this is the uh, the name of this parameter will be the end date and the type will be date and let's say we want to close this uh, till 31st of December 2021 okay and I will press ok so we have two parameters now start date and the end date now we will right click here and is uh, in this contextual menu just hover your cursor on new query and here click on blank query now we will write uh, M language code here so equals to list dot dates so we are using a code that is list dot dates remember that whatever you write in power query it's a case sensitive language so you need to consider that as well so list dot dates we want to create a list of the dates that's why we are using this code bracket open now there are three parameters we need to fill here uh, the first one is start as date so from where we want to start uh, our date list okay so here we will define a parameter which we have already created which is the start date then count as number so we need to uh, define total number of days in which which will be in our calendar so definitely the logic will be the end date will be subtracted from start date and we will add plus one so we will get count as number uh, which defines the total number of days which will be in our this calendar table and then step as duration so we want each day in our list so it, it will be incremental of one okay so these are three parameters which we will fill now so as start as date we will just define start date which we have already created as a parameter then count as number so here we will put another code which is duration dot days bracket open so end date minus start date bracket close plus one okay and then step as duration which is the last uh, parameter or the argument you can say so here we will use a code hashtag duration hashtag duration and then bracket open one comma zero comma zero comma zero and then bracket close now what is this means by one comma zero comma zero comma zero so if you can search this code here so you can see that hashtag duration uh, there are four 
again fields in this particular code so the first is used for days as number then hours as number then minutes as number and then seconds as number so we want to create a list of uh, dates where each date will be the incremental of one so we need to move one point every time right so that's why we have used one and then zero 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 because we don't want to move uh, as in hours or minutes or seconds we just want to move incremental of one by days only okay so that's why we have used one here all right so let's go back to this so now you have a list here which is starting from the 1st of January 2021 and if I if I scroll down or you can see at the top uh, sorry at the bottom left side there are 365 items this means that you have successfully generated a one year calendar here so if I scroll down so it shows you uh, 31st of December 2021 if I remove this plus one so it will stop by 30th December 2021 so that's why I have used plus one here okay so once you have created this just press the enter key and the next step is to convert this list to a table so you have an option here a button here convert to table so just click on that and uh, select delimiter as none show error as the these options will go by default press ok now you have a column one which contains a list of dates of one year you can change as well if you want to uh, modify the date or change the date you can just go to the start date and type the date you want to start where and end where so this will definitely change automatically okay so once I have this particular dates column I will just rename the, that as dates and now what I can do is I can just make a duplicate uh, of this particular column and I can just transform that into different kind of format so I will just right click on this particular column duplicate column and I will create four to five duplicate columns or as per as my choice I want in my calendar table right so let's say these are five columns okay so first column will define uh, I will just right click on this second column uh, right click transform and let's say let's say we need a name of the month so we have transformed this as a name of the month the second transform is month uh, month number then we want uh, let's say um, year so I will select year as well then I want quarters so I will go to quarter and click on quarter now in, in the quarter you can see a list that is one because Jan Feb March consist of the first quarter and then uh, fourth five six right other quarters as well so if you want something like Q1 Q1 Q2 so I will show you that how you're gonna do that let's transform another last column as well uh, D which is uh, this is giving uh, basically the number of the day from the dates right so let me rename all those uh, columns as well so double click month name then we have month number so now you can imagine how much time you want to spend uh, in order to create a calendar dimension table through power query but it's just one time once you have created that you don't need to create again and again you will just uh, create a relationship uh, with this dimension table to your actual fact table of uh, one to one or one to many as you like okay then I will rename this as year then this is the quarter okay and the last one is for the day day numbers okay now for example if you don't want the full spelling of each of the month you just want the first three alphabets so what you can do is right click and uh, split column and by number of characters okay so we will see that once as far as left as possible and we want just three number of characters and I will press ok so this I will just remove this second column and now we have all the month names in uh, three alphabets the same pattern as you can see here right so I will again rename that as month name all right uh, the next one is uh, as you like uh, you don't want to see one two three four in quarter column you want to see q1 q2 q3 so what you can do is uh, first you need to uh, just change the format of this uh, or the data type of this column which is in text okay 
next step is that you will go to add column create a custom column so just click on custom column and name as qtd and here in the inverted commas place first q which is a character we have placed into the inverted commas and join that with an ampersand sign with a quarter column and press ok so now you have q1 q2 q3 and q4 right and what i will do is i will just remove this column now right so once you have uh, all this all these uh, calendar table is ready what you will do is uh, you can rename this query as well so let's rename this as well as calendar one okay and once you are done with all the transformations just close and apply so now you can see here in the fields area there is a calendar one and we have certain columns here we can preview this as well in the data screen so now you can see here your calendar is ready here it is so this is the one method the another method is to use the DAX so let me show you code first now this is the code let me explain it to you this is very easy uh, the first calendar is basically the name of the table which we will create with the help of uh, some DAX uh, so this is first is the name of the table then equal sign to start the DAX first DAX is the add columns we want to add some multiple columns so we have used this add columns then calendar so the starting date we want in our calendar is from 1st of January 2000 you can change this as well and the end date which we want is the 31st of December 2025 okay then uh, date as integer is the name of the header of the column which we will create and in this particular column we are using the format DAX and this format DAX is basically what it, it is doing is it is uh, picking the date from the date column and convert it in, into a uh, year month and date format a specific format then again there is one more column the next column header will be year in which we are using the year DAX and it will transform the date into a year format then another column which is of month number column which is the header and in this particular column we are using the format DAX which is picking up the date column and we are just extracting the month number from that again so this pattern goes and goes and we are creating each column and within each column we are using uh, some of some of the times we are using the format uh, DAX to transform the date into our specified own formats okay so this is the particular code you can save at your easiness i will just select this entire code Control c for copy and i will go to the power bi and here in the modeling tab click on new table and a formula bar will appear so just Control v for to paste this entire code and just press enter and as soon as you press enter you can see that a calendar table has been created with all the columns mentioned here and we can preview this as well it starts from 2000 till 2025 and we have each of the columns containing different transformation of uh, date column as well here so these are the two methods the first one is from the power query uh, where you can create a calendar dimension table or the second method was to use the DAX uh, which is very much easier I hope you like this video. Thank you.